Okay, so for number 26, he looks kind of nasty. Um, if you plug in uh, pi over 2 into this x, you would get 2 pi, right? And what is tangent of 2 pi? Zero. It's 0. Wait, is that right? Yeah, it's 0. And then uh, if you plug it into this x, you would get 5 pi over 2. And what is tangent of that? Yeah, it'll be undefined. So we have a we have an indeterminate form right here. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, take use L'Hopital's rule. Blah blah blah. You guys are surprised, I know. <gasps> L'Hopital's rule. Okay, we have limit as uh, x approaches pi over two. Now this is gonna take some manipulation, a little bit of algebra, but we can do it. I believe in you. All right, when we take the derivative of the top. The derivative of tangent is secant squared, yeah? yeah? So we have secant squared, and then we put um, whatever's inside of it back inside of it. But then we have to take the derivative of what's inside. So what's the derivative of 4x? That's just 4, right? So we do the same uh, process for the bottom. We're going to get 5 secant squared um, with a 5x. Okay, now I'm going to change something, though. I'm not going gonna, gonna to stop writing the squared like that. We're going to put the squared on the outside of it. So we're going to put the squared right there and right there because it does start working out nicer if we do it that way. Um, most don't like secant, so we can change that. Uh, I mean, if you're just trying to do this in your head and try to figure out what, um, what you're going to get when you plug in pi over 2, uh, most don't like secant. So let's, uh, let's change secant to cosine. That's how they did it in the solutions guide too, even though they were wrong. Um, that part was correct. So we have the limit as x approaches pi over 2. And then we're going to replace secant with 1 over cosine. You guys down with that? OK. Uh, if you guys are talking and not paying attention, that's cool. Just uh, make sure you do it really quietly so I can't hear you. All right, 1 over cosine. What is that? 4 over th 4x. And this is being squared. Because. Um, because secant is being squared. The other one is 1 over cosine 5x squared. OK, now this looks kind of weird. Uh, first of all, we could put this 4 right here, and we could put this 5 right here. It still looks weird. We have fractions inside of fractions. And so let's uh, take the top fraction and multiply it by the reciprocal of the bottom. So we have 4 times uh, cosine of 4x squared times cosine of 5x squared over 5. So that's the reciprocal of the denominator. So what do we get? We get 4 cosine 5x, cosine of 5x squared. Now on the bottom we have 5 cosine of 4x squared. So don't forget what we're doing. I, for, I stopped writing the limit, but we can pretend the limit's right there. We're taking the limit as x approaches pi over 2. So we plug in pi over 2. You guys ready for this? So what is cosine of 5 pi over 2? Because when I multiply pi over 2 to this, I'm going to get cosine of 5 pi over 2. And I'm going to have to square that and multiply it by 4. What is that? Let me go ahead and write the bottom. I've got cosine of... Um, that would be 4 pi over 2, which simplifies. But let's uh, do the top first. What do we get for the top? Now, 5 pi over 2 would take us all the way around once, and then half of a pi, right? So what is cosine of a point right there? 0. So this is 0. 0 squared is 0 times 4 is 0. So we have 0 over... Now, if I get a zero on the bottom, that means we're going to have to do L'Hopital's rule again. So I'm really crossing my fingers, hoping that I don't get a zero on the bottom. I get a one. You're right. Because this simplifies to 2 pi. And so that means cosine of 2 pi is 1. 1 squared is 1 times 5 is 5. So we have 0 over 5, which simplifies to 0. OK. Now, that is what I got. And then I checked the solution. I'm like, hey, they don't match. And I thought. I think I'm right. Let's double check it. And so I went over to Desmos, my friend Desmos. Okay, let's get rid of this function right here. Um, this function is, what was it, tangent, right? Tangent of 4x. 
tangent 4x, and I got to divide it by tangent, not sine, tangent of 5x. Check that out. Okay, that looks really fun. Okay, um, it's approaching uh, pi over 2. Okay, now to see pi over 2, I'm going to go ahead and change uh, the step to be pi. Uh, yes, I will throw it in projector mode too. Boom. Okay, so where's my pi over 2? Where are you, pi over 2? Hey, he's like... There he is. Does it approach 0? I mean, that's really clear, right? It does approach 0, and actually, it is defined there. Um, I just, it's really hard to get to it. Ugh. Yeah, it, it is defined there. Um, yeah, we could just plug it in, but then I have to do some other things with decimals. So, anyways, we're right, right? If we look at um, the graph, our, the answer that we got is correct. So, cool.